Hey everybody, welcome back to the MMNG Drive and the Tough Car Challenge Modded Edition. Today we have Sergeant Fido's Oldsmobile Full Size Mod. The particular car we got is the Oldsmobile Delta Custom Cruiser. So it's a station wagon. What else could be said about it? So V8 engine, plenty of room in the back, pretty much this 1980s road trip mobile. How will this thing hold up on our track? Let's hop in it, fire up the old GM. I believe this is either a 305 or a 307 V8. And get to cruising. Alrighty, guys. We are in the car. Plenty of room. Very well done by uh, Sergeant Fido. So, let's go put our foot on the brake. Get it started. Alrighty. Put it in the drive. And, oh, before we start, got to turn the HUD on, and that really doesn't help much with anything, so we'll just leave it off. All right, three, two, one, and away we go. All right, coming up to the first jump. This car is going to have a lot of understeer and occasional oversteer because this thing's not built to be doing what we're putting it through. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, coming up. We're on the brakes a little bit. about this with the uh, full size now is that we not only have the Delta which I'm in the custom it's the Delta wagon anyway uh, we also have the Regencies back in a bunch of more forms including a limousine as well as we have the Chevrolet Caprice so each of those cars in some way shape or form will be making a jaunt around our track oh come on Talk about understeer like a motherfucker right there. Me taking down my screws. It's here for the wheel. Come on. And believe it or not, my my foot's mainly down on the on the gas here. I've been. It's mainly full throttle. It's I'm either a full throttle or no throttle right now. It's like an on-off switch. All right, one lap down. Coming up on the first jump. Over the jump. Nice landing. Off the gas, get back onto the gas. Cut up through the Widowmaker. Alright. Bit of a harder landing there, but we got it. It's still going. Come on. Come on, you big bitch. Get your ass around these corners. Woohoo! into it now. Almost lost it. But we got it back under us and we're still good to go. Looks like some panels are start are flexing a little bit from our landings. That didn't sound good. Okay. Come on. And across the line, two laps down. So at, at the end of the next lap, actually, this is work going to be on lap three. At the end of this lap, we'll go ahead and pull off. Oh, my dear God. You kind of hear some scraping type sounds going on. I think our driver front tire blew out. And if that's the case, 
Well, it is what it is. Wheel kind of pre-turning. Oh shit! Ooh, took out a window. That caused damage, I bet. Oh shit! definitely have problems getting we can turn to the left okay turning to the right is problematic but we can do it so I think the tie rods on the front driver's side are shot oh dear because the smoke is come on the car is turning not very well there we go we got it around the corner <laughs> Very poorly, but we got it around the corner. Ugh. There we go. Kind of getting it. <laughs> Cheating a little bit here. Alright. There we go. Lined up. We're going to the, into the pits of three laps complete. All right, let's find out what the hell happened to this front end. All righty, guys. Well, here's our problem. I have my steering wheel straight. I'm turning the... You can cut, see the wheel turning into the car. Tie rod ends are broken on this wheel, so it is no longer attached. Plus, it is blown. Got a window blown out. Uh, a couple windows blown out, but that's it. Car's in pretty decent shape, other than the fact that the suspension is now fucked. Uh, I don't think this car is going to beat the Miramar Z Coupe. Uh, we're going to try to get see how far we can limp it along. I'm actually going to go ahead, and you guys saw how I use it. I'm take the, oh, I think I just made it worse, but we actually might be able to get away with that now. Oops! But... First time you guys actually see me most likely broke a car even worse. Eh. Alright, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get back in the car and keep on going. Alright, we're back in it. Got it running. And away we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we can turn to the right now. And, but we cannot turn to the left. There we go. Now we got the left turn. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna this is not gonna end very well. Right. Uh where we are now driving off. Oh. We just blew the radiator. You can see at what cool thing in this particular car. The low coolant light comes on and well. Oh, something's up. Hey, the I got maneuverability back, but I I hear grinding sense. I think we might have lost that the wheel on this side. Something happened to it. So, but I can. Uh, well, I kind of can turn. Well, oh, that's. Ooh. Oh boy. Alrighty, here we go. Three and a half laps in. Turning in. Turned in a little early. Oh dear. Come on. Here we go. Over the jump. Come on. Oh, we're going too fast. Whoa, hello. Somehow survived that. Oh, that's just lovely. I have no steering. I have no steering whatsoever. Yep. 
Yep, I am full lock to the right, and the car is going straight. I let go of the wheel, it turns to the left. That is going to be pretty much it. Yeah, oh, it, no, it doesn't even do that. Nothing's attached. Steering rack's blown, so let's go ahead and park it, shut it off, because it's done. Let's go ahead, hop out, and see how bad the front end on this car actually is. Alrighty, guys. Well, we already knew this wheel was kind of screwed. Uh, but this one bought the farm as well, because turning the wheel and there's nothing going on. Something tells me it broke when I came up and over the uh, island here. So, car's going to be at 3 and 7 eighths of a lap, because we pulled in at the right after we completed our third lap. So, uh... What does that mean for the leaderboard? Well, let's go ahead, take do a quick spin around the car. I mean, the, the rest of the car is pretty... Everything from the firewall back, minus my two windows, is great on the car. It's just the steering's shot in this, so... Oh, well, it is what it is. So, like I said, three seven eights. Let's go ahead, pop in overhead view, and see where the car lines up on our leaderboard. Okay, guys, here's our track start finish line. And here is where our car died. Now, for this section of the track, I did say it was 7 eighths. 7 eighths is just after this turnaround, which is right around in this area. Uh, our three-quarter lap area is right here, so you can tell very close. So, 3 and 7 eighths of a lap was completed. Our Bishu Miramar Z Coupe Lux completed 6.5 laps. That was the only car modded vehicle that we had tested so this car is in second place with it with its rating so i don't know why i'm going to recap it but to recap first place abishu miramar z coop oop lux six and a half second place oldsmobile custom cruiser three and seven eights let's see Next episode, we might take out another one of the Oldsmobiles. We might find, if I find another car mod that I like and own, have installed and been running, we'll use that. Uh, but again, that's going to be another episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, guys, have a good one.